Hello, everybody, and welcome to our daily devotional time together today. I am Allie Cobb, Director of Family Ministries at St. John's United Methodist Church, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. Today is Friday, the 24th of November, 2023, and welcome to our daily devotional time together. This is our point midday where we get to pause together as a community of faith and share in the Upper Room Daily Devotional together some prayer, scripture, and reflection. So if you're joining me now live or a little bit later on in the day, if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment below so we know which ones of our friends hopped by, we always appreciate that. And welcome. Today is the day after Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving with their family and or friends yesterday. Good morning, Miss Linda. It's always wonderful to see you. I just finished. I'm not doing any Black Friday shopping. Um, pretty much have everything set for Christmas, but I did just finish up um, at the gym, so that's why you guys get me in my car. <laughs> Hope everybody had a good day yesterday. We hosted my in-laws yesterday and had my kiddos, so it was six of us for dinner. Um, none of us really love turkey, um, so a few years ago we decided instead of cooking a turkey we would uh, grill out steaks. So we did um, steaks with all the traditional sides yesterday. Um, but Emery, uh, my daughter, is convinced that it's not Thanksgiving unless there's a turkey. Even though none of us really love having turkey. Um, I now just buy a $5.99 rotisserie chicken from uh, Costco. And I heat it up and I put it out and so she thinks that we have turkey for Thanksgiving and nobody touches the rotisserie chicken and it's used for leftover things in the days to come, but that's kind of our little Thanksgiving tradition is having a chicken as our turkey as we all eat steak and nobody touches the turkey chicken. So anyways, good morning Jack, it's wonderful to see you as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Today we'll be in the book of Hebrews, so if anybody wants to follow along. Um, we'll be in the book of Hebrews. Um, if not, feel free just to listen along. I hope everybody's having a good start to their Friday. It'll be a little bit uh, colder. It's a little bit colder today, and I think we're supposed to get some snow, rain tomorrow and everything. Travis and I are going to go to a movie later on today, so I'm really looking forward to that. Just a nice quiet time since my in-laws are in town. We're taking advantage of grandparents watching kids so that Travis and I can sneak out. So we'll sneak out a little bit later on today and we'll see a movie. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll give everybody another minute or two and then we will begin. As I mentioned, Book of Hebrews, uh, chapter two. Chapter two is where we will be at. Um, and I'll be reading out of the New Revised Standard Version updated edition. So Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 4, sorry. <coughs> Cooper brought home a bug like two weeks ago, and I've just had a lingering cough ever since. So good times with kids this time of year. Okay, Hebrews chapter 2, verses 1 through 4 of the New Revised Standard Version Updated Edition. Therefore, we must pay greater attention to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away. For it is the message declared through the angels provided valid, and every transgression or disobedience received a just penalty. How will we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? It was declared at first through the Lord, and it was confirmed for us by those who heard him. While God added his testimony by signs and wonders and various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed across according to his will. And our focus verse for today is Hebrews 2.1 out of the NRSVUE, which is, We must pay greater attention to what we have heard so that we do not drift away. And our devotion today comes from Robin Martin of Mississippi. And these are the words that they are sharing with us. Drifting. In the days before GPS, mariners would use a sexton, an instrument which uses the stars and the horizon as the basics for navigation. They would use the sexton several times a day to make sure that they were on course. Imagine if they decided one day not to use the sexton. They might drift away only a few degrees off, but a few degrees off travel 500 miles would put them way off course. Christians also have an instrument that helps us as we navigate this life. 
That instrument is the Bible. When we pay close attention to the message in God's word, we keep ourselves on course that God has sent for us. And like the mariner, we need to use it often. The Bible should be a constant guide in our lives. I have noticed that when I have not spent time with God's word because I have let other interests or concerns get in the way, I begin to drift. But when I spend time with God by studying the Bible, I am not only redirected, but also encouraged, inspired, and renewed. And our thought for today is God's word is a guide that keeps me on course. And our prayer focus today is sailors. Um, when thinking about GPSs and everything, they're a wonderful invention. Um, I love GPSs because they literally tell you exactly when to turn, where to turn. You don't have to worry about getting lost. You know, it'd be nice sometimes if we kind of had a roadmap like that for life, something that told you exactly, without a doubt, turn right, turn left, go north, go east, and you'll never get lost. Um, so oftentimes we have to use our own um, our own inner voice, so to speak, um, to help guide us. Um, but we have the Bible for that as a tool. But then we also have other little daily things that we can do. We have um, things like um, our daily devotional, which helps keep us on course. Um, Facebook and Instagram um, and other forms of social media. Um, they actually can be used for some good things. They have um, different um, things that you can follow and everything that offer words of encouragement throughout your day. So when you're scrolling through your feed, you can see um, scripture and positive things. Uh, there is a, um, oh, Jack just said, I learned how to use a sextant when serving as a naval officer on active duty. Good for you. Um, I cannot use a compass, so more props to you, Mr. Dunbar. Um, another thing that um, I did, um, I don't do it as much anymore, but there is an app called um, Our Daily Bread, and it gives you a daily verse to read out of the Bible. And if you install it on your phone, it just kind of sends a push notification and it's there. I think it goes out like at midnight, but you can see it gives you a verse every single day to read and everything of the Bible. And you can just start off your day like that. Um, I've started using a meditation app called Calm, um, which kind of helps center me um, and it offers kind of that little encouragement, that dose of encouragement. Um, and I use it literally in the school pickup line right before I pick up my kids. It's kind of a way that I, I don't want to say center myself, but a kind of a way that I get myself in like a good mindset and a positive mindset. Um, because when I pick them up from school, they're just, they're tired from a long day of school. They're hungry because it's been a while since lunch with low blood sugar. So it's just, it's a whole thing when I pick them up. So that kind of helps like center me. But there's just so many different things that we can use throughout the day, um, whether it be technology, whether it can be little reminders that we have throughout our house and little pro daily practices that we do. Um, and it's better when you stack things. So if you, you know, like our daily devotional, it's the same time every day. Um, I use my meditation app the same time every day. When you get into those little practices and everything, it helps keep you on course throughout your day. Uh, maybe it's doing um, a morning scripture reading, or maybe it's praying before bed each night. But there's different things that we can do to help keep ourselves um, on course. And there will be days where you get off course and you drift um, and everything, but that's the good thing about having um, those tools and those habits already set up in place is that you can pick right back up with them and everything. So as we get into the busyness of this wonderful time of year and everything, I hope that people are able to keep up with their uh, daily practices and um, everything so that they feel centered in the word of Christ. So let us take a moment to pray. God of wisdom, help us realize the power of your word to keep our lives on course, that it is guided by you and your love for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Sorry, my apologies again. The more I talk, the more I need to cough. Um, I hope everybody has a great rest of their Friday. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you, Barb and Chris Mueller, for joining us as well. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their Friday. And I'll see you back here again soon. Take such good care. Bye-bye.